uh, BMA little person. And he asked, you know, he says, is there a way a, a, an honest man can make a buck? And he says, well, I'm a what, what did he say? Actor. That there's an honest way a man can make a buck? You were soliciting money from them. You can't do that. I explained to you that's against the law. You don't know who I am. I don't have to know who I you are. I am the original dog people. And I just say this. I don't want any problems from you, listen but I didn't do anything listen to, to go listen to jail. To listen to me. It's a minor misdemeanor. First of all, stop flexing on me. Right. Hold There's hold no need. No, 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 no. Flex. No, no, no. Hold no, it, hold no, it, no, no. Bro, I'm telling you, bro, big bro. Stay right oh, here. Would you look at this? Would you look at this first? Do me a favor. Would you look at this? Is it worth resisting the police? Now you're going to go no, to jail for resisting not, arrest. No, 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 sir. Why this would you do a, that? This is a problem that just got out of hand. That's all. It's just that I want Arnold Schwarzenegger. I was looking for Mike Tyson. I want to fight him, too. Listen to me. Turn okay. around. Stay. You're going to relax for a I'm second? I'm going to relax. I'm going to relax. I'm okay. going to relax. The only thing I'm saying now is that I did not really know who you were. I thought you was a thug. It's dark over here, and when you How stop, about the overhead lights? I, th I thought it was Christmas. I didn't know. Okay, so you said you were arrested in the state of California, correct? In Ohio. What were you arrested for? Aggravated burglary, aggravated robbery, aggravated trafficking, receiving stolen property, theft, grand theft, felonious assault, and assault. Arrest my case. We're responding to a person shot multiple times after a fight call came out. Deputies have just arrived on the scene and they're requesting more units. From what I understand is we had a neighborhood disturbance between one side of the street versus the other. One of the subjects has been shot. Who's your brother? Corey, he, he's like 17, 18. Where's he at? He's the one that got shot. He's, okay, that's I didn't know that. So your brother's the one that got shot? Yes, Has sir. anybody told you what his condition is? No. no okay, sir. he's in very stable condition. He's going to be fine, according to the paramedics. The homeowner's friend came and, and kind of stirred it up by, by adding fuel to the fire, by, by arguing back. The homeowner went inside, got a, got a rifle. I shot three, fire, three shots in the air to let him know I had a rifle. By that time, more had showed up, and then... At least four of them were charging towards me, and uh, I had no choice but to shoot. Okay. At this point, we're probably going to go um, arrest him for aggravated battery. Okay, because he was standing out in the middle of the street yeah. rather than his own property, yes, and then he dis indiscriminately basically fired into a crowd. Yeah. What do you think is the the moral of the story for to you, for you tonight? Go to bed. Go to bed. Responding to a major traffic accident, a vehicle versus a motorcycle. Uh, the callers on scene are saying that the motorcycle driver is down and that a Hispanic or white female has run from the scene of the second vehicle that was involved. Uh, these people started to run, but they didn't chase her because they were more worried about the guy on the bike. The man that was driving the motorcycle is severely injured and uh, she was driving this car. I don't know exactly what happened with the wreck. She didn't feel like I didn't hit you. <laughs> the girl that drove my car, Jessica. The girl that what? Jessica drove my car. Please tell me she didn't kill anybody. Uh, no, she, she didn't kill anybody. Okay. Uh, you know that all the witnesses out here say that you were the one driving, right? No, it was not me. Okay, I'm saying all the sober witnesses out here are saying that you were the it one driving. It was not me driving. Okay, look straight at that light right there. I can't. Okay, you. Okay. The witnesses say that you were the one driving. Why are you over here at 17th and Western? Because I was driving her home. You were driving her home? Or she was driving herself home. Okay. Lying about what happened running after you nearly killed somebody after no. you're driving? No. That's not, not good. Okay, I'm just no. I'm just letting you know. Not at I'm just letting you know. Not at all. Okay, I'm just letting you know. That was not all right? me. 242, I'm going to be 1045 at 27th and Broadway. Just saw this vehicle leaving a problem hotel, and he's failing to maintain single lane position. He swerved about seven times. I'm going to go ahead and pull him over. Okay. okay, so I just need to see your license and your insurance. Hey, let me see your hands. Let me see your hands. Keep your hands where I can see them. Well, when I pulled them over, the passenger was looking for insurance, and I saw this in the glove box. So so who do you think put that in there? I'm, I'm not sure. That's why I'm trying to find out Who's right now. Who's your friend up in the front seat? Do you know him very well? Yeah, yeah, he's a good friend of mine. What is my partner saying? He's not saying anything. He ain't saying nothing? Nope. He's not helping us out. When you, as best you can. When you turned on the lights, he just took the gun out of his right pocket and put it in the thing. 
the the guy that was sitting the in the department. Yeah. The guy that was sitting right beside you on the passenger seat. Mm -hmm. Okay. Your buddy over there, who you said is a good friend of yours, must not be too good a friend because it was his. Okay. So you're not going for the gun. This truck's parked in the uh, center of a drug-ridden neighborhood known for drugs, prostitution. I see a guy inside of it. I'm going to talk to him and see what he's all about. Yo, why'd you turn your car on? Get out of here. I thought you were going to say, get the hell out of here. No, I want to yeah, talk to you. Deal. Is there anything illegal in the car you're not supposed to have? No drugs, weapons, hand grenades, rocket launchers, bazookas? Do you have any objection to me checking? No. Okay, why don't you go and step out for me? What I'm locating is a... Uh, Substance known as methamphetamine. That's a very large quantity. So you're a diabetic, you said, sir? Okay. I mean, other people have put stuff in my pen. Really? You see this? What's this? Sure looks like meth, huh? It does, actually. Those are big chunks, too, aren't they? Where did all those come from? I don't know. No, I mean, seriously. Okay. I was just digging through my fanny pack to get money and stuff earlier. It just magically appeared, okay? So well, that doesn't make sense. It's amazing. Sir, it is not... That is not... That's not yours? Okay, just go ahead and have a seat, okay? Uh, employees of the market here uh, flagged us down saying that this guy wearing a Minnesota Vikings jacket, now he's bound through the alley, had stolen some uh, some items. Found in the alley. I'm sorry, what? I found that in the alley. Found it in the alley. I heard that. A couple customers saw him uh, sticking candy and other stuff in his pockets and... Uh, a couple of my workers confronted him. Yeah. A couple of my workers confronted him and uh, pulled the products out of his pocket, and he took off running across the street. And that's when you showed up. Yeah. I flagged you down, and you guys took off after him. Heck, we thought I stuck something in my pocket, and I did. Did you look inside the brown zippered purse? No, I didn't. Is there some reason why you couldn't just stop for a moment and say, I'm going to sit here and chill in front of the store and look in this little thing that I just found? Then you would know that, that there's drugs in there. You just turn the corner here. There they go. Get on the ground! Get on the ground, we'll tase you! Get on the ground, we'll tase you! Get on the ground! What'd you throw over there? What am I going to find? It's right here. It should be right in here. What was it? My keys. Looks like a high point firearms, 45 caliber. He's got one in the chamber. That's not mine. Raphael, I was right behind you and watched you toss it. I went right over and picked it up. That's not mine, sir. Okay. You're caught. You know it and I know it. The difference here is whether or not you're going to man up. We was over by Northside by KFC. Uh -huh. I was talking to my dude. Dude was walking down the street. He asked, did I need a gun? Any, do I know anybody want to buy a gun? Oh, so you weren't particularly in the market for a gun. You just happened to run into him. Right. Ah. So you feel like it was probably sold it and made more money off of it. Was that what you were going to do? Try to I sell it and know. turn it for a profit? Yeah. All right. Thanks, man. All right, we're chasing this uh, Honda right now. Don't move! Get on your face! Um, my wallet in my pocket. I got your wallet right there. Hey. Right. Relax, all right? It's over. I got a bunch of different IDs here. But none of them belong to the suspect. What is that? Oh, it's like a shank. That's what the fool gave me, too. We're good, thanks. So you got this shank. That's a homemade burglary tool for getting into locks. So I'd also charge them with uh, 466 of the penal code, possession of a burglary tool. Because I already know, like, it's stolen, sir. And then I have priors, man. You're going to 